What's up everybody, it's General Heat here, and today we've got a little cool trick to show you guys on Halo 5, and that is how to clone Spartans in Warzone. Uh, now I know there's been a lot of videos out there recently with the overload glitch, um, where you could clone Spartans in Forge and someone in custom games, but this is a lot easier to do and you don't need to do um, the overload glitch or anything. All you gotta do is leave the game during this scene when you're in the Pelican and about to get out. Now, if you actually want to see the clone, then you can't be the one to leave. But if you have other people on your team and they leave the game while in the uh, Pelican, then they will their body will just drop out the Pelican and just land down here. And as you can see, they will be a weaponless clone. Well, they're not entirely weaponless. Their their primary weapon is holstered on their back, as well as the secondary on the side. But uh, I guess during the in the Pelican, you you actually like are weaponless or not holding a weapon, I should say. Now, actually, I'm not sure what happened here, but for some reason, everyone in the game just lowered their weapons. As you can see, uh, my friend here's his weapon is also lowered. You could still shoot, but uh, it, it just it just went lowered for us for some reason. Uh, if you want to raise your weapon, you just gotta switch weapons. And I'm not sure how that happened because this is like matchmaking. I don't think machinima mode is enabled, so I don't think you can normally lower your weapons without machinima mode. But, you know, it's just a little random side glitch that happened unintentionally. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm curious, has anyone ever had the glitch where your weapon got lowered in um, matchmaking, whether it's Arena or Warzone? Just uh, let me know in the comments if that's happened. Anyways, uh, these clones are actually kind of interesting. They are totally invincible to you. So, you can melee them, you can shoot them, you can spar and charge them, and they won't die. But I think that's mainly because there's no friendly fire in uh, Halo 5 Warzone. So, that's probably why you can't hurt them. Because it's not just clones, but you can spar and charge live players as well, and it won't hurt them either. The only way you can kill the clone is if you splatter them with a vehicle. Just the same way as you would if you were to betray any other player in the game. But anyways, uh, right now what we're doing is we are going to try to see, take this a little further and see if uh, the clones can actually interact with AIs. As in, can the enemies shoot the clones? Can they even see the clones? So, we're just trying to push the clones in to where the enemies are. We tried to get into the hunters here, but we were too late. The hunters already killed by our teammates. So, now we just got to push them to uh, the armory here. <clears throat> where there's quite a few Prometheans. Alright, so this position should be fine. We got a bunch of Prometheans here, so now we just gotta step back and see if uh, Prometheans will attack them or not. And yes, they do. In fact, uh, they are still vulnerable to enemy fire, and they they can still die as well. I can't tell if you can't you can pick up their weapons or not. He has a different uh, he had a different assault rifle than me, but for some reason I couldn't swap for his assault rifle. Yet you still see his assault rifle dropped on the ground, as well as his secondary. But I couldn't swap for either, so I, I'm I'm not sure if that's because you can't swap for different assault rifles with different attachments. But I'm pretty sure you could. I don't know. I haven't really played Halo 5 too much to know that, <laughs> but it just seems like you couldn't. Now, we tried this again on another uh, Warzone Firefight mission, and this is probably the most useful in Firefight. You could do it in regular Warzone, uh, any any game type where you're flying on Pelicans, you could do this on. Like I said, as you're flying in, just have everyone have to start menus up, and then get ready to leave, and then once you're in that scene where you're sitting in the Pelican, like you actually see yourself sitting in the Pelican, that's when you leave right away. Uh, if you leave too early, it won't work, and if you leave too late while you're jumping out, then that's also too late and it won't work. But anyways, you could do this with any number of people. We um, we did it with three other people this time. So we got a total of three clones now. And the clones are, of course, they're called clones because they're totally identical to the uh, original player. But <clears throat> uh, they, like I said, you can have as many as you want. Uh, I, I guess the max you have in a game is seven. Because the max fire team size is eight. And um, if uh, if everybody leaves, then nobody sees the clones. So I guess the max you can see is seven. 
Because after that, anybody else that joins later on, they, they just spawn in the game. They don't get dropped out by the Pelican. So, yeah, this is the best you can do as far as clones go. Now, these clones, um... In Warzone Firefight, they actually are kind of... And even reg to a certain extent, regular Warzone, the clones can actually be kind of useful. And, I, I mean, I, I don't recommend you, like, having people join your fire team and forcing them to leave the game just so you can make a clone. Unless you just want to check it out. But if you want to use it strategically, I... I, I, I don't say it's worth, like, forcing people to leave just so you can have clones around. I would say, like, if this... If this does happen randomly, like, somebody lags out during that scene or someone, for whatever reason, quits and they create a clone by accident, then there is some use for these clones, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but the first time this happened to me was like several months ago. Um, somebody lagged down the game and their clone was left behind, and I found that to be pretty fascinating. It was around the same time that uh, I was doing the overload glitch with the uh, cloning Spartans and all the other marvelous side effects of uh, the overload glitch. But that's, that's another video, another topic. Anyway, so... In round four of Wars of Firefight, we managed to push all the clones all the way to here um, at varying at different distances from each other. And now we're trying to see if uh, if the enemies will actually like really go after them. Because earlier I wasn't too sure if they were shooting at the clones or they're shooting at us, and the clones are just in crossfire. But as you can see here, um, the enemy AI do actually attack the clones. Now, from my experience, they go after the live players first. I'm not sure why, but that just seems to be how it is. But once there's no more live players, they will they will go like all out on the clones. As you can see right there, <laughs> this mantis here just like destroyed that clone. And then here, this clone right here is getting uh, shot at by the soldier. And like I said, all the clones are still vulnerable to enemy fire. They're still invincible to friendly fire but not enemy fire but the clones actually they can be kinda of useful as a distraction for the enemies if you could like launch them or knock them to know the enemies the enemies will be uh... temporarily distracted by the clones and that gives you a chance to you know take out the enemies whether through assassination or or some other method but yeah so i hope you guys found this to be interesting and uh, i hope you found it to be pretty cool and if you did enjoy this video as always, make sure to uh, leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you want me to check out soon, just you know, let me know. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.